I don't care how dark it looks for you. I don't care what they done said to you. I don't care what the verdict is. I don't care what the haters say. It ain't over. No matter what happens to you, it ain't over. Ain't no such a thing as over. Do you know, man, that you can actually mess your life completely up? You can jack it all the way up and you can turn around and get it right. Do you know that you can be divorced multiple times and still be okay? Do you understand that you cannot have a degree and still be just fine? Now, whatever you've been through, whatever that is, guess what? You still here. You have a great life in front of you, but your great life is in front of you. It's not behind you. Pull yourself together and quit tripping because you in the process. God is processing you. He ain't through with you. If he was through with you, you would not wake up in the morning. I'm going to tell you something. You got to have a tremendous work ethic to be successful in here. In other words, and you can relate to this, you got to have a lot of dog in you. <laughs> you really do, man, if you want to be successful because it's, it's going to be a lot of trying times. So you have to have a tremendous work ethic. But you got to have faith. Faith without works is dead. You hear it all the time. You go to church and you learn all these scriptures, but then you don't apply none of them to your life. You're looking at a man who has made the simple application of three or four scriptures and maxed them out to get here. I maxed out three, four scriptures to get here. I kid you not. I'll share them with you if you want to hear about them, but I maxed out three, four scriptures to get here. I'd love to tell you I'm the funniest person ever lived, but I ain't. Richard Pryor got that. I'd love to tell you I'm the greatest entertainer, but I ain't. Michael Jackson was that. I got all that, but they gone. So I probably am. But listen, man, but I, I gotta tell you something. If you could get a couple of things from me, if you could gather this piece of information, Albert Einstein said once, he said, imagination is everything. It's the preview to life's coming attractions. Now, I want you to get this now. Imagination is everything. It's the preview to life's coming attractions. Because if you think about it, everything you have, everything we have in this world, somebody imagined it. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So when I told you a minute ago, you gotta have a tremendous work ethic, but you gotta have a lot of faith. I talk to so many people who get older, like some of us are, and they've lost their faith. Well, faith is really simple. It's the, faith is the substance of things hoped for. All that mean is in the beginning, you just hope something pop off. You know, you just kinda hope something happen for you. I was hoping I would get on TV. I wrote it on a piece of paper when I was 10, I want to be on TV. The problem I had when I wrote it at 10 was I suffered from a severe stuttering problem. I could not talk outside of my house. So can you imagine when I wrote on a piece of paper, I want to be on TV and turn that in. The first thing the little boy next door, next to me asked me, he 10, well, how long is your TV show going to be? Because you you going to be on TV all day. But when I wrote it on the paper, it wasn't factual. I was just hoping. I was miserable in my life. I didn't like waking up. I ain't have no purpose. I ain't know what I was supposed to be doing. On October 8th, 1985, I walked in a comedy club for the first time. Signed up for the following week. The following week. A girl took me down there, she said, you got to go to comedy club. You're the funniest person I've ever met. I never even heard of comedy clubs. I'm 27. I walked in the comedy club. I signed up for the following week. I'm going to sit here and learn. I knew I was funny. I just didn't know what to do with it. They had 10 acts go up. Nine of them went up. I didn't laugh at one joke. I was just sitting there just, man, my wish that was me. Man, they should have said this. Every joke they told, I knew the punchline before they said it, and I wrote a better punchline in my mind what they should have said. It got to guy number 10, they called his name, he wasn't there. 
They said, well, he's not here. We're going to go to next week's list. Steve Harvey, where are you? Long story short, I won amateur night that night. I won $50. It was a 45-minute drive to my house with this girl named Gladys. I cried 45 minutes. She said, what you crying for? It ain't but $50. I said, no, no, you don't even understand. I, I was born tonight. I now know what I'm supposed to do. I went to work the next day, October 9th, and quit my job. With $50, I had nothing. I just never gave up. I'm gonna tell you something. That decision cost me everything I had. I, I lost everything. I lost my family. I lost friends. I lost everything. I became homeless. I lived in a car for three years. But I just saw this, I saw this, I saw this vision. I just pursued it. I said, wow, that's it. You have to take chances in life. Life is about risk. If you play it safe in life, you ain't gonna have much of a life. If you play it safe, you won't have much of a life. Life is risk. It takes it take courage to pursue your dream. Now it's gonna cost you something. Most people are not willing to pay what it costs to go after your dream because you're gonna have to hurt a little bit. And most people don't like being uncomfortable. If you don't want to be uncomfortable, please do not pursue success because success is a very uncomfortable feeling. And I just learned to be, I learned to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Life is hard. See, for every time you have a plan, a dream, an aspiration or a goal, do you know what happens every time you have one of those? This thing comes along called life. It happens to everybody. Life has disappointments. It's got peaks and valleys. You're going to lose somebody you care about one day. That's a valley. Somebody going to close the plant you thought was going to stay open so you could retire. That's a valley. Somebody going to fire you for an unjust cause. That's a valley. The people that got your credit card going to sell their company, going to sell their business to another credit card company. Your 18% go up to 26%. You don't even know why now. Your minimum didn't change because you had because it's life. You can stop thinking that life fitting to be easy because I got news for you. It ain't. That's a false hope to think you're going to have a, a, a wonderfully carefree life. That's unthinkable. We all live in this bubble. What you got to do, you got to put more air in your bubble. You got to blow your bubble up. Expand yourself. Take yourself out your comfort zone. Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. Start putting some pressure on. Put some pressure on yourself. Get out here and get about it. Look, I'd love to sugarcoat this thing for you. I'd love to tell you, look, you can go out here and get rich, do a couple of things. That ain't, that ain't happen. You got to get real doggish. You got to get downright funky if you want to make it. Now, like I was telling you before, if you want to be ordinary, you ain't even got to listen to me. Just go on about your business. If you think ordinary is cool, ain't no problem. It's some really, really wonderful ordinary people. But if you are sitting in this room and you have extraordinary aspirations, then you're going to have to do extra. You put extra on top of ordinary and you come up with extraordinary. It's no other way. I'm sorry, but here's the fact. All of you have extraordinary capabilities, all of you. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category.